Welcome back to the Real Pastors YouTube channel. Good to be here. We're talking more Batman today. And you might be asking, why are they talking about the Batman again? One, because, I mean, look behind me. I'm always going to look for reasons to talk about Batman. Efren's mm -hmm. a big fan as well. But this movie continues to give us more things to talk about even mm -hmm. before it is released. So, Efren, how are you? I'm doing good. Glad to be back. Been a little bit since we made a video, but glad to be back on here and uh, talking more movies. And like you said, Batman keeps giving us stuff. And so we might as well talk about it. And uh, Batman's given us two things. So we're going to talk about them today. Yeah, I mean, the marketing for this movie is brilliant because it's like every few weeks, it's like, let's give a little more something out there to remind people, hey, mm -hmm. this is coming and expect it to be epic. And right. Warner Brothers, Matt Reeves, you've got my excitement level to 11 out of 10. So mm -hmm. please don't let me down. Um, There's I'm a lot nervous. riding on this, man. <laughs> I'm There's nervous a lot. because this is rivaling uh, The Dark Knight Rises for excitement. And that yeah. to date was my most excited movie along with Avengers Endgame. And this mm -hmm. one's right there neck and neck with those because, wow. So, yeah, but we got some information to talk about, some breaking mm -hmm. news this past week. Um, so we got two bits of things you want to talk about. You want to, what do you want to talk about first? Probably the one that came out first, I guess. And uh, we'll just deal first with this whole thing that came out, that there's this Batman four-hour cut um, of the film. And uh, and apparently it was shown to, like, the... So, so like, when they show a cut, they have a cut that they show to, like, friends and family. They have a cut that they show to the studios just to make sure that things are going before it actually goes to test audience. Now, test audiences where they see, like, do they really like this movie? Can we continue to, like push this or do we need to go back and maybe reshoot some things or stuff like that um so like th and i forget which one comes first but there's like those are the different kinds of showings that they show showings that they show anyways um so but this one was like the friends and family like studios like those are the people this wasn't a test audience um but so it seems like this cut was made and they were like hey here's what we have that's done and it's good um but do we need to trim the fat because it's four hours i know we're not putting four hours a four hour movie into the theaters um, because of money issues and stuff. Normally that's why they want to shy away from that. And then, yeah, so but, to but, extent I understand four hours is a lot. Yeah. Four hours is a lot unless you have an intermission or something. Um, but then theaters only have so many theaters to show it in. If it's four hours, it's less showings, less money, all that kind of stuff. So there's all that stuff to consider. Um, so if you have a four hour cut, that's crazy. But, um, you know, so but and then we know that th that is coming in at two hours and fifty five minutes. Now, remember that two hours and fifty five minutes also includes, uh, to my knowledge, and yeah. credits. I think the official runtime without credits is two forty seven. So we still got a, okay. Yeah, we got a long movie still. Mm hmm. Yeah. So this is one that I think is what people are thinking about, and what I want, wanted to ask you, Gary, is you do you think there will be? Well, first of all, what are your thoughts about a, that the four-hour cut exists, like a finished four-hour cut exists? And then two, like, do you think this will lead to a BVS Justice League kind of maybe a Rat, Re, Matt Reeves cut that comes out later? What do you think? I think it will because I think the two things, the Snyder cut and the Ultimate Edition of BVS has changed everyone's perception of these types of cuts when it comes to superhero mm -hmm. movies. Um, the Snyder Cut was a huge success. Everyone says the Ultimate Edition is the better edition, and it's very mm -hmm. true. Yes. So for fans' sake, and you got a character like Batman, which maybe, arguably, I think is true, that is Warner Brothers' most successful character. Yeah. His biggest franchise. Superman fans, I'm sorry, but it's true. Um, it was so Superman for a while, but it, once yeah. Batman yeah. showed up, I mean, with Michael Keaton, it was done after that. Yeah, and so I think... Rightfully so, we get this movie, and all of us who see it, unless it's just complete garbage, are going to mm -hmm. be like, well, let's get some more. Let's see that four-hour cut. Because we're not talking 30 minutes. We're talking four hours. Mm -hmm. And that is a lot. And a director like Matt Reeves, that four hours is probably not much filler. It's probably going to mm -hmm. move the story along a lot further. So I would be shocked if we didn't down the road – get a Matt Reeves director's cut of this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, well, here's, here's the thing that kind of scares me for the theatrical cut is that with BVS and justice league, both of those, when you saw the theatrical cut, you knew stuff was missing. Like you could feel it. Especially like you could, justice league. Yeah. Especially justice league, but you could watch and you're just kind of like, 
wait, what just happened? Like, I feel like I'm missing something. And then you go back and you research and you, well, not Justice League, but with BVS, you go back and research and you realize Mm -hmm. that the studio was like, no, this has got to be at two hours. And then apparently there was a three hour movie that was made and they told him no. And so, you know, so, you know, that's all, whatever it all happened. But that's my thing is like, will this feel like we're missing an hour of the movie? That is probably my only concern. Now, hopefully knowing Matt Reeves, if they already have like, you know, their three hour cut and it's done. I mean, I have enough faith in Matt Reeves that it's not going to feel that way, but it's one of those things. I almost wish we didn't know there was a four hour cut because now I'm going to be thinking about it. You know, that's a good point. It would, I would much rather be like, you know, the Blu-rays being released and it's like comes with an exclusive four hour mm-hmm. cut. I'll be like, Oh my gosh, watch them both back to back. Cause that's just how we are. Yeah. You know? And, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's a good point. The, o- the two things that make me not worry about that. And mm-hmm. it is a, le- a legitimate worry is one. The runtime is still two hours and 47 minutes. Right. If it was down to two hours, like mm-hmm. even two hours, I would be very concerned if I knew, had this information. Um, and the second thing is, and you said it, Matt Reeves, I trust Matt Reeves mm-hmm. as a director. Um, it was said today, uh, this week on Twitter by, um, uh, our friend who wrote Jesus Loves Movies, the devotional book, mm-hmm. that the Planet of the Apes trilogy is crimi- criminally underrated. Yes, it and, is. And Matt Reeves is the biggest reason why. Mm-hmm. So Matt Reeves knows what to do with two hours and 47 minutes. And mm-hmm. if Warner Brothers is smart and they want to cash in on the Batman even more, release that four-hour cut, hopefully mm-hmm. with the first release of this movie. Don't make us buy it twice, please. Yeah. And don't do that to us. Cause you yeah. know, I will. I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Or at least do like you do with BVS. You had BVS and then you had BVS ultimate edition that came out at the same time. So you mm-hmm. can choose which one you want to buy. But then what was smart was in the ultimate edition, it still came with the theatrical cut in that. It so did. it was kind of a no brainer. Like you might as well get that. You get both anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that's, and that's what I, and that's what for me, it's like, if you're going to do that, I think they should. And I, and I don't think, cause, cause I, I did hear, um, you know, a couple of people talk about like, well, a lot of times director cuts are dumb. It's only in the, the, the Zack Snyder's DCU that it works because they legitimately cut way back off of off of his stuff. Um, but no, and no other and no with no other movie has a director's cut been worth it because it's been like a couple scenes here or there, which like to some extent. Yes. But what, what I want to put out there is that when, so when it came with with X-Men um, Days of Future Past. They, there's this, there's this, uh, that I have, there's this cut called the rogue cut. And there is in that movie, that movie's long, but in that movie, there was something that was like, something feels a little off. You just didn't know what it was until you watched the rogue cut. And then you realize, mm-hmm. oh, that's what's missing. This whole side mission that really helped, pr- pr- um, you know, move the plot forward and help it make more sense. I mean, yeah. Days of Future Past was a great movie, but you it can was. still feel like something was weird. And so I think now we've got, we've moved to the point from director's cut being, hey, here's some, Here's some extra stuff the director wish he had in there. It's a cash but grab. It's really, it has been a cash grab in the past. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think that'd be the case. And I think if they d- did that with this, Grant had not seen the movie yet, and maybe we should talk about it after we see it. But yeah. you know, maybe with this being the case, with it being Matt Reeves, the direction they're trying to take it, um, you know, because the Zodiac Killer is a big uh, has a big influence on this movie with Riddler. You see that yeah. a lot, uh, and through the Great trailers movie. and stuff. Yeah, and so yeah, so that there's, so with it being that the case. I can see this being an hour longer and then and then um, you being able to just see and feel like, OK, it'd be worth having this Matt Reeves cut. Um, yeah. But but we'll see. But if the movie is great, like you said, it's two hours and 47 minutes. If it's great on its own, maybe we don't need it. Th- yeah. That that's that's the decision. I think after we watch the movie, we can talk about. And maybe it'll be hopefully it'll be one of those things where it's like, hey, here's this nice little extra if you want some more. Yeah. The story. Um, and director's cuts have been a cash grab in the past Mm -hmm. and some of them add to the movie and some of them make the movie very bloated terminator 2 judgment day love you james cramer but the director's cut of that movie makes it a very bloated movie Mm -hmm. um but then you know like the movie behind my head here tombstone that director's cut is very good adds to the movie Mm -hmm. um you know so maybe this will be the same and that you know and there's always been rumors of a dark knight rises three four hour edition we never saw Uh, that mm -hmm. one um, yeah. But I don't think we would have been told about this if they don't plan to release it at some point. Mm-hmm. Oh, they, yeah, they yeah they would have kept this information under wraps if they didn't really yeah. care to do something with it, which is a good point. Um, it, it's just I think 
you know, it, to me, it's like exciting. It's cautionary for what we've already talked about. I think, I think we'll know more once you actually see the movie. And then from there, will we need the four hour cut? Will we not, you know, or, or is it going to feel like I'm missing an hour or is it going to feel just fine? And it was like this hour could be in there, could be not. It helps enhance the experience, but it doesn't take away. We just won't know till we actually see it. Um, but because the information got leaked, now we know. And now we're thinking about it. Now we're talking about it. So let's hope for a nice little addition if it comes out, not a necessary thing to understand it. Right. Yeah. And going back to what we talked about, Batman versus Superman, the ultimate edition, the original release, um, that did come with the theatrical cut disc. And just want to let all you guys know that are watching, if you own that, they make great coasters. Uh, <laughs> th those discs make great coasters. You will not see a ring on any table. So mm -hmm. take it out and use it. And um, yep. just wanted to pass along the information, trying to be helpful. <laughs> That's a great information because honestly, do I ever plug in the theatrical cut? Nope. It's just there. Nope. Not at all. So <laughs> nope. Batman, the Batman four-hour cut. So. Yeah. But that's not all the Batman news we got. We nope. Got another piece of news or footage or. Yep. Another quick uh, a thing. We had the Batman official poster come out, and um, and here's and here's the poster that they put out there. Um, so as soon as I get up, my apologies. And uh, there it is. There's the Batman official poster, and um, I, I got a lot of thoughts. Um, I don't know, but Gary, you need to start this off. That friend, my friend, I'm about to shock the world. All right. I hate this poster. Okay. I do not like that. Everything about this movie has been great. Mm -hmm. um, has been just enough from the trailer to other things being released. And then we get a poster like this that is just way over the top. I thought it was a fan-made poster. Mm. Um. You don't need all this. If you're going to put all this, go all out and make it like an Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. 50s style. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's like mm -hmm. animated, you know, kind of like that. Yeah, I like I that. I do not like this poster at all. It's not that big a deal, um, but you just got way too much there. Um, way mm -hmm. too much. Um, that, like I said, that's just my opinion. I like the slogan, unmask the truth, but uh, you don't need all that. Yeah, like my, my first thoughts here was – and I'm going to try to point this out here. Maybe you guys can see it. It's like, I know it has this little zoom thing, my bad. But like, for me, it's like, I feel like this right here, this part, this top part could have just been your poster. Like you could have just had just that. Yeah. And that, and that's it. Just, just Batman, Riddler, you know, Catwoman, Penguin, just have them and that just be it. Or have just this bottom half right here, yeah. you know, which me personally, I mean, if it was me, like I would like the bottom half of Bruce Wayne with like the with like the Riddler stuff that looks like a scope, like he's like he's looking down a scope to shoot him or whatever. Like, I think just have just that. I think that alone would have been cool. That's the part I like the most. But like, I don't know what is it with, like ever since Marvel, was it Marvel that started just sticking everyone who, who is in the movie on the poster and it looked Marvel like a- Marvel brought it back with the Avengers movies. Brought it um, back, okay. Unless I'm missing something, but it was, this was a big 90s thing. Was it? See, I don't remember posters in the '90s. So yeah. Yeah, well, especially like it was the Batman movies. You had Batman Forever and, and Batman and Robin, who had everybody. Oh movie. yeah. Um, and that's this is what this reminds me of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's just, I just like I'm with you. It's too much, and it just seems like so weird. Like you could have just had again Gotham burning in the background, mm -hmm. you know, him in the in the Riddler scope walking, and just left it at that man, and that would have been perfect. I think that, and I think that, I don't think it'd been perfect. I think it would have been way better, you know, or just have just the characters. Yeah. I, I don't understand why we have to have Bruce Wayne in the scope and back. It's literally like they had, Hey, I got these two great ideas. And they're like, just, just put it all in one poster. We ain't got time. Yeah. That's what it kind of felt like. Yeah. It's just, it's way too much, way over the top. Um, I keep unmasked the truth. Keep Batman. I like the Riddler scope. And I even like Bruce Wayne in it because mm -hmm. the trailers indicate he's coming for Bruce Wayne. Like he's trying to, on you know whatever um but everything else like this all the trailers have been mysterious about the riddler mm -hmm. you know um they haven't even shown paul dano's face right and they're still not on the poster but like why do you we don't need all that we don't need to see him even right there see that you know and yeah. if you're trying to follow seven and the zodiac killer which is Zodiac killer unfortunately is a true story but you know that was just a cover and mm -hmm. you didn't see 
the killer and the villains on the cover, you, you, you kept it mystery. Like mm-hmm. all he needs Batman. Yeah. You know, and like I said, it's not that big a deal, but this is just not a good poster. Yeah. Well, especially cause they built so much hype and, and so much into it. And again, let's put this one thing on. This isn't, understand this isn't Matt Reeves. This isn't any of this is a separate marketing department mm-hmm. that just said that is just, that is tasked to do this. So let's just put that out there. So I don't think this is going to be like, like, oh, this poster's terrible, so this must mean the movie's terrible. No. no. Like, the director, all of them, they have nothing to do with the marketing. All right? They have, they have nothing to do with that. Um, but this marketing team totally dropped the ball on this. Yeah. Um, they could have done something so much cooler. I mean, you have this whole much more detective, noir mm-hmm. kind of feel to, to the movie anyways. You have this murder mystery, Zodiac killer. Like, you have – they should have leaned into that. They should have, they should have said, you know what? This reminds me a lot of the animated series. Let's look into that for our poster. You know, let's yeah. look at those posters. Let's do something along those lines to really make this happen. That's what they should have done. Uh, not this, hey, let's just do what everyone else is. It's, this almost feels like Skybeam-ish. How every movie had yeah. the Skybeam. Now it's like mm-hmm. not every poster has to have every character mm-hmm. on there. Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, they're just yeah. why, why, why isn't Commissioner Gordon on there? Throw him on there too. <laughs> I wish you had. I wish I had the John Madden pin where I could circle the. You know, right here. We got, <laughs> boom. You know, yeah. John Madden. But uh, all you need right here is the title, the Batman. That's all you need. Yep. That's all you need. But yeah. if I mean, they already had came out before the trailer. I'd be very worried. But thankfully, we yeah. got some great trailers and not so great posters. So. Yeah. Oh well. Well, I mean, they already had those decent posters that are out in the theaters now, where it's mm-hmm. just like black and red, and it's kind of the Riddler holding up his like card thing mm-hmm. and it was like oh that's cool and he had the, just the batman it was like oh those are cool like this was just like i get it they're making the finals marketing push they want people to see look at all these people but total miss total miss and total uh miss. yeah hopefully they release better posters or if this is it then we need to get the other posters that came out first those are better yeah. posters than this yeah Indeed. Uh, breaking news. I know this is a movie show, but this is kind of a big deal. Tom Brady is retiring after 22 years. Oh, he's official. All right, then. Yeah. So. Yes. And, uh, Tom and uh, yep. Goodbye, great Tom career. Brady. We're okay with that. You had a great career. Probably the GOAT quarterback. Probably. I think he is. He has yeah. way too many rings. Um, yep. But, uh, yeah, good to him. And you know what? I meant to mention this to you, Gary, just real quick. Um, the streak continues. When Alabama loses, so does Brady. When Alabama oh, wins, yeah. Brady wins. Just want to put that out there. And uh, I guess we shouldn't have been surprised that he didn't yep. uh, make it. So, oh. Great career, Tom Brady, but it's Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen's, t- Josh Allen's time. It is. And uh, we will see that game tomorrow. But anyways, that's what we have with the Batman. And uh, let us know your thoughts. What do you think about this four-hour cut? Let, what do you think about this poster? We would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. And uh, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like yes. uh, button so we know what you guys like to see. And uh, please, the YouTube gods, and make sure to share and turn on that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Yep. Thanks for watching, folks. All right. See you, everybody. Peace.